So therefore, don't treat it like a religious doctrine. Don't treat it like these are some ceremonies we have to observe. Religions have taught us ceremonies. Spirituality never taught us any ceremonies. Just because we come from religion into spirituality and we have, we carry all the impact of our religion with us, we try to make it into another religion. Instead of going to Sunday Mass, we go to Sunday Satsang and we come back and that's it. Where's the difference then? How do we get anything more with this kind of a shift? Perfectly living masters have come and said, all religions started with the truth. Go within and find out the truth. And all religions decay and say, do this, don't do this, do this ceremony. This is different from that religion. Our religion does it differently. You have this form of statue, you have this fine type of cross, you have this type of thing. We divide ourselves all the time and none of us are doing what spirituality, the origin of religion wanted us to do. And then when we come on a spiritual path with a religious background, we try to make the spiritual path into another religion. Some people even told me, well, I used to be a Christian, now I'm a satsangi, Radha Swami, following spiritual path. I said, you are no longer Christian. No, I said, but this, you made this into a new religion because you could have done the spiritual path while being a Christian. There was no need to change. We don't change religions or nationalities or anything to be on the spiritual path. The spiritual path is a path of the spirit. We all have it. We all have souls. It doesn't matter what our religion is. It doesn't matter what our nationality is. The spiritual path is finding the truth. Not only finding the truth, the truth of your very religion. We read books, we read scriptures, we read outside and we think reading is going to give us something. Reading gives us nothing unless we follow up on what we are reading. Reading gives us instructions. Reading gives a description of what you might find. Readings warn us of certain things. All these readings are useful to an extent, but merely reading does not give us any salvation, does not take us anywhere. We have to act upon what we are reading. And it is not necessary to change your religion. In fact, if you practice meditation correctly, by going within, you will find whatever was written in the scriptures of your religion was correct. And you understand it better. For the first time, you understand what was meant by the spiritual teachers who laid down the foundation of a religion. Till then, it's only the office bearers of organizations. It is the followers who have not made any progress, who are propagating what the religion is, and they keep on making changes. Councils are held. The Bible is considered the word of God. And the number of changes made in it is amazing. And the biggest change was made in 700 AD when ecumenic, ecumenical council deleted several gospels and put in new ones. Look at the history. Study the history of the scriptures. What we have done to them. We twisted it. And here, United States, they say, Bible is the word of God. I said it was corrected by King James of England. Because what we are reading, is the King James Version. And he broke from the Vatican and improved upon this and changed the Bible and we are accepting that as the word of God. Where are we caught up? How can we be so far away from the true teachings which were the foundation of religion that go within and find the truth and check it out. Understand what's written outside. You can't understand outside because you don't go inside.